हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शोर ऑफ सर्स क्लासेस सो माय नेम इज हिमाद्री दत्ता एंड सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल बी सॉल्विंग सेवरल क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एम ए इकोनॉमिक्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन पेपर फ्रॉम हैदराबाद यूनिवर्सिटी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सो इन टूडेज वीडियो विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी सॉल्व क्वेश्चन अंटिल क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सो इन दिस वीडियो विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन ऑन this paper so first we'll start with question number 79 so minimum support price for agricultural commodities are announced on the basis of this four options are given one is cost of production another is intercrop price parity and another is inflationary situation in the country and all of the above mentioned factors so among this option c is the right answer for this that is minimum support price for agricultural commodities are announced on the basis of inf inflationary situation in the country so we are done with question number 79 now we'll go to question number 18 so the question number 80 goes like this the share of output in gdp of informal sector in the india estimated by national sample survey is all these four options are given the share of output of in gdp of informal sector in india estimated by national survey is equals to 65% so option b is the right answer so the share of output in gdp of informal sector in the economy estimated by the national sample survey is given by 65% so for question number 80 the right answer is option b which is 65% now we'll go to the question number 81 so the question number 81 goes like this when the law of diminishing returns begins to operate the total variable cost curve begins to fall at an increasing rate rise at an increasing rate fall at a decreasing rate right at an increasing rate so first of all law of diminishing returns basically means the more labor say for an example if labor is more employed in the economy so then the output or return say starts to fall after a huge number of labor are in, in employed in the production process so this thing that is known as diminishing returns begins to operate that is when employment of labor that is variable instead of decreasing the cost basically increase the cost so the total variable cost curve begins to obviously it would be fall but at an increasing or decreasing rate obviously it would be at a it would start to rise at a increasing rate so total variable cost would increase at an increasing rate when diminishing marginal returns to operate because diminishing marginal returns to operate basically means the labor that is employed are tend to be less productive it is their marginal productivity starts to fall so when their marginal productivity starts to fall so what happens the total variable cost which is the cost of labor here that is the variable cost starts to increase so it is increasing at an increasing rate so for question number 81 the right answer is option d so so far we have done three question question number 79 81 and now we'll come to question number 82 the probability is that a woman will buy a new dress for a party at three shops 1 2 3 of this respectively probability that she will buy a new dress at one of this three shop is given by these four options so for this what we have to do we have to write down how many shops are there there are three shops 1 2 3 and the probability that to buy a dress is given by 0.22 0.18 0.35 now probability now what is the probability that she will buy a new dress at one of this shop will be just the summation of this three which is 0.75 so for this option c is the right answer what we have done we have just summed the probabilities we have found the answer to be option c so so far we have answered four questions question number 
80, 81 and 82. So I want you to go through this question once, grasp the idea before we proceed further with the other questions. So I hope you guys have gone through it. So now after these four questions, now we'll proceed further with the other questions. So now we'll go to the question number 83. So question number 83 is given by aggregate demand curve in the Kenshell model is downward sloping because it is downward sloping because it shows the relationship between output and price. So negative relationship between price and income wealth effect, interest effect on the aggregate expenditure, law of diminishing aggregate marginal utility and all of the above. So I will be giving you a couple of seconds to go through it and give your answer. So for this the right answer is option B that is wealth effect and interest effect on aggregate expenditure. So due to wealth effect and interest effect on aggregate in, in, uh, expenditure we get the aggregate demand curve in the Kenshial model is downward sloping. So I hope you guys got it. Now we'll proceed further with the next question which is green revolution technology in Indian ag agriculture is observed to have created all these four options. So they have observed to have created inter-regional disparities, inter-crop disparities, a skewed consumption pattern in favor of superior cereals and all of the above. So I think for this question all of the above is a right answer that is all of this have been done due to green revolution technology in Indian agriculture. So due to green revolution technology in Indian agriculture is observed to have created all this four three options. So we have done this two. I want you to go through it for a couple of seconds before we proceed further with the other questions. Now regarding these questions that we have solved so far, if you have any query or doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number which is 9836793076. Any doubt if you have regarding this question, you can directly WhatsApp me on this number. So now we'll come to the other questions. So now we'll come to the question number 85. So question number 85 goes like this. Kuznet curve is a relationship between growth and development, poverty and inequality, poverty and growth and income, inequality and income. So I think option D is the right answer that Kuznet curve basically shows shows the relationship between income and inequality that is when income increases inequality first rise then it starts to fall so we get a u-shaped curve so Kuznet curve gives the relationship between inequality and income so for question number 85 the right answer is option D now we'll go to the question number 86 now question number 86 goes like this there is a growing demand for developing countries that developed countries should reduce the subsidies in agriculture. This is also known as argument for these four options. So there is a growing demand for developing countries that developed countries should 
reduce the subsidies in agriculture this is also known as an argument for these four options are given the b option which is fair trade is the right answer so for question number 86 the option b that is fair trade is the right answer so we have found the answer to be option b now we'll come to the next question which is 87 in order to make banking sector stronger face financial risk basel normal so we'll uh, solve this question in an another video like this question and this question we will have another session for this this other question which we will solve the special questions so now we will directly go to the question number 89 so Kyoto protocol 1997 is an international agreement for achieving this four things are given so for this the option C is the right answer that is Kyoto protocol in 1997 was for reduction in greenhouse gas emission so Toyota Propos protocol 1997 was for to reduce the greenhouse gas emission so question number 18 the option C 89 option C is the right answer now we'll go to the 90 question number 90 which is FRMB 2005 fixed and fixed fiscal deficit limit as so FRMB 2005 fixed the physical deficit limit at 3% so FRMB 2005 fixed the fiscal deficit at 3% so for no question number 90 option C is the right answer now we will go to the question number 91 so in question number 91 it is given Raja Chelia committee was set in 1991 on all these four options out of which the right one is tax reform so Raja Chelia committee was set in 1991 on tax reform so now we'll go through the questions we have done so far first I will go through this paper that is Kuznets curve is a relationship between inequality and income Kuznet curve is a relationship between inequality and income there is growing demand for developing countries that developed countries should reduce the subsidies in agriculture this is known as an agreement for fair trade now Kyoto protocol in 1997 it an international ag agreement for achieving a reduction in greenhouse gas protocol emission and FRMB 2005 fixed the fiscal deficit limit as 3% and finally the Raja Chelia committee was set in 1991 for tax reform so in today's video we solve couple of question we started with question number 79 for which the answer was C then 80 for which the answer was B I'll just keep on writing the answers here So as you can see we have found that question number 79 the option right option is C for 80 the right option is B for 81 the right option is D for 82 the right option is C for 83 the right option is B for 84 the right option is D for 85 the right option is D for 86 the right option is B for 89 the right option is C and for 90 the right option is C and finally for 91 the right option is C so in today's video we solve various questions from MA Economics 2012 Hyderabad Central University question paper if you have any doubt or query regarding this question you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 it is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showropsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for 
MA Economics exam for Hyderabad Central University and other entrance ex exams for different universities. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number. So have a nice day ahead.